What's up and welcome back. This is lesson number 11 of how to automate your appointments, aka Aya. Today, we're going to dive deeper into our integration section by setting up an integration with Active Campaign. Now, to be completely frank with y'all, this is my favorite personal setup. That's why I'm going into it, right? It's capturing all the data inside of a spreadsheet so we can all see it as well as putting all of the data in a CRM so we can automate some of the communications that is supposed to happen. Okay, so let's dive in a little bit further. What is Active Campaign? Active Campaign is an email marketing tool, all right? If uh, you may have heard of other ones like MailChimp, right? Um, Active Campaign is another email marketing tool. Now, the cool thing about Zapier is Zapier connects to uh, just about any mainstream email marketing tool out there. And so um, what I'm going to show you today, you can apply to your own tools if you're interested uh, or if you're familiar with something else like MailChimp. However, if you're interested in active campaign um, but don't have an account yet and would love some help, and by the way, if you do have an account and would love some help, would, I'm totally here to help you all. I just want to share that TechStart, we are an agency partner for Active Campaign, and that gives us the right to resell uh, their software at a discount, and we pass that discount on to you, plus do our best to help you set up a successful account. And so if you're interested in that, um, just email me at elias at techstart.co, and we will figure out the next steps together um, for your Active Campaign account. But um, you know, today isn't about necessarily an active campaign lesson. This isn't a lesson about email marketing. Um, I just want to share an overview of what's possible here. Um, and, and you're going to have to dive deeper into this. But if you do want the active campaign deeper, deep dives, then ping me on Facebook. Let me know in the comments uh, so that I can prioritize that. For now, I'm going to go over the overview so that you have the framework, and the framework is something you can apply to any system, whether it's Active Campaign or MailChimp. And so, really, what we want to accomplish are two things. Step one: grab the data that we that we captured in Calendly and add it to Active Campaign or to our CRM. And and then when we add it, we want to add it to our CRM with this specific list or specific tags so that number two happens. And step number two is essentially triggering an email campaign. Whether it's one message or multiple, we want to identify, oh, if they get added to the welcome list, then I want to email them some welcome emails to just introduce them to who I am and what my brand is. If they got added to a podcast interview, then maybe they, uh, you know, from a podcast interview Calendly, then maybe they get added to a podcast newsletter, an active campaign, and so on. And so you, the key things here is you want to know, you know, what tool are you using? Is it active campaign, MailChimp, something else? You know, what is the list? How are you going to segment and keep track of this list of folks? And, and what is it that you want to send them? Okay. And this is so powerful, y'all. It makes a world of a difference when people get a message. And as long as it's not salesy or spammy, this is not meant to be a pitch fest. This is meant to build rapport, deliver value, and nurture the relationship. You, and the cool thing is, this could be happening before you even meet them. So in the past, I've done a system where I would send an intro. I would send three intro emails. Um, one immediately when you book and it'd say something like, thank you so much for booking. I'm looking forward to our meeting. Um, I just wanted to share a little bit more about my background. Um, so if you're interested in learning about that, stay tuned till tomorrow and I'll email it to you. And then the next day they get an automated email. And it's like my background, my professional background, my personal background, what I care about, right? It's a little bit of a longer email. And then it says, by the way, um, I have this like free freebie I'm going to send you if just so you know, in a couple of days before our meeting, check it out and uh, you can plug in whatever your freebie is going to be. Um, I did something like um, the software that took me took my freelancing business to six figures and um, 
and and share that for a while. So anyways, act, again, that's the framework. Now let's go into some of the actual steps of how this works. We're going to hop back into um, Zapier. And um, inside of Zapier, we set up this integration in the last lesson. And check this out. When you have a pro Zapier account, all you really have to do is hit another plus. And now you can choose whatever CRM you have. So if it was MailChimp or MailCheck or or whatever all these other ones are, go for it. But for me right now, I'm gonna go with Active Campaign. I recommend you do the same, and I'm here to help um, help you get discounted Active Campaign licenses and and tutorials for me. Just let me know if that's something y'all actually want uh, before I make that any kind of class on that. Okay. So, anyways, I chose Active Campaign. Now I got to choose an event. What do I want it to do? And I want it to update a contact or create a contact if it doesn't exist. So hit next, and now we have to choose the account, right? So I already have this set up, but if you don't have this set up, all you gotta do is hit connect to a new account and it's gonna do what it always does. Zapier wants API, it just wants permission. So it's gonna load up this page and it's gonna be like, give us permission. And you're like, well, where can I get it? And the cool thing is that Zapier explains it, right? It's like my settings under active campaign. So this is active campaign and, um, and I'm in settings right here and you just have to click developer and when you click on developer you'll be able to see the uh, api url and the api key and then you can add it here and therefore add in your active campaign account mine's already in there so i'm going to go ahead and hit continue and now we have to set up the action and much like what just happened before we have to map the data so first it's saying where do we want to put it so you got to choose a list and uh, if you don't have a list set up in Active Campaign, it's right here. So once you have your Active Campaign account set up, there's lists. Look for those blue buttons in the top right corner. They normally help, right? Um, so when you click on list, this top right corner button should be add a list. And you can create a list if you need a new list uh, specific to this Zapier. But in this case, we're just gonna keep jamming um, chose one randomly because I'm not going to, you know, fully turn this on. This is for demonstration purposes. Um, but anyways, the invitee email is right here. And, uh, and just a little more clarification, demonstration purposes, because I don't want to share like the personal data that we have on the other accounts. So that's why we're going with the demos. I hope you appreciate it. But if you run into an issue that seems unique and I didn't cover it, just let me know and I'll be happy to do my best to help. So again, like we did before, we're just going to map the data from Calendly now into Active Campaign. Okay, and um, like there's first name and last name and full name. You know, if, uh, if I don't get first name and last name separately, then I just use full name. Cool thing, we can capture their phone number. So, I remember in this specific case, we didn't have a phone number. So that is is what it is uh, for this specific Calendly event. If we wanna add in tags, we can, okay? But um, I wouldn't necessarily add tags. Here's a cache 22 that you should know about is that this integration of capturing the data from Calendly and plugging it into Active Campaign, it's doing it for every event created in Calendly. Okay, which is fine, that could work. But if you need specific, if you are like me and I have a, a Calendly account where I have like 20 event types, then, then you may wanna set up a filter. Okay, and so you can set up a filter right after the Calendly piece. So it filters the data. And um, the one easy way to do it is just have it match up to event type. So. For, and then and then just label this zap to be correct. So we know that we were messing around with the group group consultation one. So I would say only continue if the text exactly matches what I have in, um, in Calendly, which is group consultation. Okay, and um, and if that works then boom, that's the only type of event that's gonna get passed here. So I'm gonna change this to say like group consultation, you know, 
And then, you know, I, I normally go like Calendly to spreadsheet, right? To active campaign, which I can go AC for. And, and now once you've built this out and it's doing what you want it to do, you can duplicate this and just change the filter for your different event types. Okay, one other thing I just wanna share uh, with active campaign is you can build these automations out. And so when a contact gets added into um, a list, I can trigger an automation. I can send an email, I can wait for a period of time, send another email, wait more if we wanted, send more emails. And so again, this isn't meant to be an active campaign class, but just to show you the possibilities of the amazingness that could happen here. If you're doing sales and you struggle to follow up with all your leads and struggle to resurrect leads, then you could build out a 90 day email follow up campaign and active campaign. And for everyone who books time with you, you could follow up with them auto magically. So, y'all, that is it for today's lesson on uh, active campaign integration with Calendly. I will catch you in the next section where we get into the marketing. Mm -hmm.